Hello and welcome to the Wicker Library. My name is Leah. So happy to have you here in my kitchen today. I wanted to film another episode of Pour Over Books, which if you didn't know is a series on my channel where I go over some recent favorite books I've read all the while making pour over coffee. So today I want to make cardamom cinnamon brown sugar coffee and I've already poured the brown sugar into the cup that I'm going to do and I'm heating up the water so let's just get right into some of the books that I've been reading recently and just absolutely loving and I need to talk about. I need to get out my feelings. Two of these books or three of them I think three of the five I'm talking about have made me cry. So let's get into these books. So firstly, I'm going to be grinding up some cardamom, just whole green cardamom seeds. I'm going to be grinding those up in this little mortar and pestle I got when I was really young. I was really into herbs and medicine and all of that uh, when I was younger, but now I want to be a public librarian rather than an herbologist and that really played a part in me choosing to read what you are looking for is in the library. I found it in a bookstore. I instantly bought it. I wasn't yet on my book buying ban but I bought it and it was so good. So I want to be a public librarian and I already love libraries a lot like they're just one of my favorite places to be in and work in and just exist. <laughs> and I just, I really loved the way that this story is told and it follows several different characters and technically it's a collection of vignettes and short stories and it chronicles all of these different characters somehow finding their way to this library and this sort of mysterious librarian who always knows the exact right book to recommend to the person and there's also like these little felted gifts that the librarian gives out. It's a very weird, <laughs> it's a very weird story. It's just so mundane at the same time, these glimpses into these characters' lives and how books and libraries impact them and make their lives better and it was just so lovely. I cannot recommend this book enough. It was five stars. I cried a little bit during it just from how much it touched me. These characters, they felt so real. They felt like people you would just find in a library and I think what really got me were just the themes of adulthood and just not knowing what you're doing at really any stage of your life. So the characters ranged from all different ages and it was really, really wonderful. I cannot recommend this book enough and I think more people should be picking it up. Switching angles a bit here so you can actually see me make pour over coffee. I have the cardamom that I just kind of put in the filter above the pour over coffee and you don't need a lot. If you you ever try and replicate this, you do not need a lot of cardamom. It is very, like, a strong flavor, and it's one that I love. The next book, though, that I want to talk about is Crumbs, which was a graphic novel. It was YA, I think, although it kind of, it also feels a little bit middle grade. The characters were in college, though, so it kind of covered all of the ranges. But Crumbs was about this witch and her love story with this other witch, I would argue, um, and he is a barista at this magical bakery. And if you enjoy uh, Kiki's Delivery Service or any Studio Ghibli movie, I think you would really enjoy the aesthetic and the coziness of this graphic novel. It was so wonderful. I cannot express how well developed these characters were and they had so many issues in the story that just made sense. They were very realistic. The miscommunication in this story was really non-existent. Um, there was some miscommunication but it made sense for the characters and it was realistic and it really goes into kind of people pleasing and just 
young love. One of the characters is a seer and she can predict the future and she goes to this kind of wizarding academy in a way and really wants to change things but it's it just it was surprisingly deep for a very cutesy graphic novel like that's what it looks like and that's what it is you can read it without going too into the deep um, messages of the book but it was also just really lovely and I loved the characters I loved I loved the art style so much it was just it was just so warm and I will never stop talking about this graphic novel. I really want to read other things by Danny Sterling. I think they are an author that, uh, author and artist that I just, I want more from. And I love, I love this book so much. The next book that I picked up uh, in the past month was Munira and the Moon. And I have a reading vlog actually where I finished this book in it and it was really really well written. This was a short story collection as well and it is all of this all of the short stories are based and inspired by Palestinian folk tales and folklore and it was really wonderful. There were some stories that didn't quite impact me as much as others or that just the genre or the characters didn't um, grab me as much but the overwhelming majority of the stories in that book, especially the ones in the first half, were really lovely and I would highly recommend reading them as bedtime stories, like reading them in bursts, not trying to read it all at once. It's a very short uh, collection but it's one that you, you, can, you can take your time with and I'd, I'd really suggest taking your time with that and it was it was really nice. It made me want to pick up more long form fiction from this author just because I really liked her writing style and it was lush. It was magical. All of the stories were very mythological and I think if you enjoy stories that part of the storytelling is the writing, since such as like Circe, uh, I think you would really enjoy some of the stories in this collection and I'd highly recommend it. The next book I want to talk about I also read in the recent blog that I did, but I think it's going to be a favorite of the year. I adored it so much and that was The Inheritance of Orchidea Divina. This story had such a like magical plotline that immediately grabbed me. It's about this magical family and the matriarch sends out this invitation to basically her funeral, her death. She sends out this invitation to all of her extended family being like, I'm dying, come collect your inheritance. And it is so mysterious and the family dynamics are so strong and are at the forefront of the story and I loved it. I read it very slowly. I read it similarly to how I read the book The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern where I read it slowly because I didn't want it to end. I would read it in bursts and just be totally enchanted by this world and the characters and the magic and the love that these characters had for each other and there's like a circus plot that was just so intriguing and it jumps back and forth in time but as much as you're intrigued you're never really confused and I think that is a real talent especially for you know multi-generational novels when you can really distinctly understand all of the many characters I think that's just such a testament to the author's ability to write and craft and this book was phenomenal. I will definitely not be shutting up about it anytime soon. I told my mom to go read it so hopefully she reads it soon so I can talk to someone else about it but yeah this this book was phenomenal and I really want to pick up the author's other books there's a series, the Bruja series, I think, that I that looks really good. So yeah, I'm excited that there's more from that author to dive into because her writing, untouchable. That was that was such a good book. So I've finished the coffee portion of this recipe, this drink, I guess. But as I stir it and as I prepare the milk for the latte, I want to talk about my final book that I just absolutely loved and I finished it recently and it was volume it was a bind up of volumes one through three of the girl from the other side 
this has been on my TBR for ages. So probably since I probably since like I started tracking books that I wanted to read in like 2018, I have wanted to read this for so long because of the artwork. And the artwork is as stunning as it is on the cover. It is so beautiful. It is a manga and it feels just so distinct and different and new. And the storyline itself though, and the characters, so well developed, so warm and cozy without being light. So it was a warm, cozy book, but it was also very dark and it kind of went into these monstrous creatures and their world and what people see them as and people who you could assume are like us who aren't quite as monstrous but when you go into things do much more monstrous things and it was so good and the relationship that this monster question mark forms with this little girl who was abandoned in the woods and is just so beautiful okay <laughs> their relationship is this like father daughter uh, teacher student kind of dynamic and it is so familial it is so full of love and this monster wants to protect her so badly and you just see it in the ways that he tries and in his actions and in the art style itself as well you just see the emotion on this mystical face and it's so good i i can't wait to continue with the series i um, all of them are luckily available at my library so i'm probably going to just mass no, I was thinking of like requesting them all at once and just binging the whole thing. But I think if I, you know, if I just go one at a time with the bind ups, because the deluxe editions are so stunning and I do eventually want to own them once I've read them all. But yeah, it was, it was a marvelous book and I loved it so, so much. Listen, usually I don't microwave the drinks. Usually I like warm up the milk and then pour it in, but because I was doing a video at the same time, it just got really cold. <laughs> so the coffee, the latte is finished, except for the final and most important arguable part, which is the cinnamon. I love adding cinnamon to literally everything, which is funny because both my roommate and my past roommate has been... Um, disdainful of cinnamon, cinnamon like they hate cinnamon so much and I don't understand and they're wrong anyway that finishes up this video I have my mug of warm coffee now for this snowy day and I hope you all enjoyed if you liked this video feel free to thumbs it up to like the actual video and subscribe if you're not already I really enjoy doing these videos they're very laid back and uh I enjoy doing vlogs as well so I hope you enjoyed and that you want to stay and become a part of the Wicker Library. Tell me what you're reading and uh, what you have been reading. Right now I'm picking up The Book of Doors by someone, I forget their name, and I'm reading an arc of it and I think it comes out before I'm posting this so it'll be out by the time you all can you see this video but it's okay so far. I will definitely have more thoughts and I'm sure it'll come up in a video in the future but I'm reading that and I'm just excited to cozy up today. Uh, if you got to the end of this video feel free to comment a snowflake emoji just so I know you've stuck to the end and I will see you all in the next video.